hey guys, it's the Igualos. We hope you're doing well, staying safe, and managing through these crazy times. As many of you, we have a full house again, and while we've enjoyed having everyone here, it's safe to say we're ready to get life back to normal. Speaking of getting back to normal, about this time every year, we begin preparing our invitations to our annual fundraising event that supports the Pediatric Nephrology Center of Excellence at Levine Children's. Due to COVID, this year we'll be changing things up a little bit. But before we get into logistics, we have some good news to share. For the 12th consecutive year, U.S. News & World Report has ranked our Pediatric Nephrology Center of Excellence as one of the country's top places for pediatric kidney care. We believe that your financial support is directly related to this amazing recognition. Let me just show you a few things about how your financial support is helping us continue to fulfill our mission. First, let's talk about research. One of the main focuses of the Center of Excellence are the variety of research studies and clinical trials. At Levine Children's, we have over 400 patients currently taking part in these studies, me being one of them. Let me share with you a few highlights. Dr. Jack Weaver, a member of the Pediatric Nephrology staff, was awarded a two-year funded program to study cardiovascular outcomes in kids with chronic kidney disease. He's also been evaluating early predictors of acute kidney disease in kids with COVID in Charlotte. I mean, how relevant is that? Department head Dr. Maskill also remains active in clinical trials around therapies for nephrotic syndrome and also developing guidelines for standardized care. Soon, she'll be launching three new clinical trials for nephrotic syndrome, with one focused on iron deficiency in kids on dialysis. Now let's talk about the patient and parent experience. Uh, through your financial support, we've been able to create a, a focus group that is really aimed at creating action plans and resources to help those parents, families, and patients navigate this world of chronic kidney disease. Our near-term focus, and we've been meeting uh, consistently for about 12 months, is to develop educational materials. We think that's sort of the foundation of expanding learning and awareness around chronic kidney disease and we've developed things like the kidney kits, uh, different newsletters, and most importantly and most relevant are resources uh, for those that are um, all, not only inflicted with chronic kidney disease but also are experiencing COVID-19. As we mentioned earlier due to COVID-19 we're having to approach our fundraising event this year a little bit differently. Um, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to have our in-person event as we've had the past uh, four years. Um, but we do plan to engage with you virtually. So over the next couple of weeks, we plan to send you a, a series of emails that will detail a variety of creative ways that you can help continue to support um, our foundation, the Pediatric Nephrology Center of Excellence. We hope that you engage, we hope that you participate, and continue to support the great work that this committee and this foundation is doing each and every day for those children and parents who continue to suffer from acute and chronic kidney disease. We thank you for your support and we hope to talk to you soon. Thank you.